Hey guys, what is up? How are you doing? I am so excited because I have been waiting for this for two months and it is finally, finally here. But really, you don't have to wait two months like I did. And this is how I'm going to help you out. My name is PJ and I am a Filipino living in the United States of America. Now you are just trying to get to your passport and maybe you're wondering how long it takes to finally get your passport. Well, here we go. It takes a drum roll about two months. <laughs> yes, two months. But really, you didn't actually have to wait two months or six to nine weeks just like I did. I can actually tell you two other ways if you need to get your passport immediately. And I mean like today, like right now. <laughs> Maybe not right now, but but in the same day. So for me personally, I couldn't do this. Instead, I simply did the most easiest thing that I could do, which was set up an application online, um, book an appointment to go to a face-to-face facility because I didn't know how to get my photo taken and I didn't know that a pharmacy actually does it. But really, you don't have to wait two months like I did. You can actually apply to get your passport in two different other ways than I did. So without further ado, first up, the quick same day and go home with the passport in your hand kind of day. So the first option for you, if you really wanted to get your passport like yesterday and you can simply actually go to Washington DC's uh, post office, main post office and get your passport as a walk-in person. You will need to bring all of your documents with you before you even go there so that way you don't west <laughs> you don't west. So that way you don't waste a lot of your time and effort and gasoline and money and and all of that other stuff and then just find out that you can actually apply for your passport because you left out some other important documents so before you head over there listen to this whole video because i will tell you exactly what you need in order to get your passport okay okay secondly if you like me you do not need to have you do not have the resources to go and drive or fly or to just simply go to washington dc and wait there for the whole entire day you also have other options simply go to travel.state.gov and find a branch that accepts a face-to-face -face appointment that's near your neighborhood and you can actually do this like right after watching this video or even now while you're actually watching this video yes budgie um, keep watching and I'll walk you through everything that you know that you actually need to do from going into the website I'm um, trying to set up an appointment and what you'll more than likely need to bring with you. Let's do this Before we even head over to the website of travel.state.gov This is what my advice is for you your citizenship is gonna come in this little folder that looks like this which says a message from President Biden make at least five to ten copies Oh, I got it. Make at least five to 10 copies of your certificate of naturalization. And this will all make sense once you're actually over at the post office because that will be the last time you will ever see that original document. The colored ones are so that you can have the colored copies in case that you might actually need it. Like if you need to sponsor your family and they want to see a copy of your certificate of naturalization, um, I don't really know yet if they would require the colored copy or the black and white copy, but just in case I did make five of the colored and five of the black and white. Okay, so once you have your copies in hand, then you have, and then now's the time that you go over to travel.state.gov and start your application. Now, because there's another option of going directly to Washington DC and getting your passport on the same day, this is actually also helpful for you because then you can print a copy of the form that you're gonna need to bring with you when you head over to Washington DC. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my screen over on the other side of my monitor here so that way I can show you exactly what the website looks like and what you need to do to apply for your passport. Okay, so let me just go ahead and open my browser. Uh, let me maximize it real quick and type in travel.state.gov. And once you actually load into the website, just go to get a US passport. And once you're there, you're gonna wanna click I'm an adult. 
And once you're there, you, you can actually see apply in person using your form DS11. Uh, just click on that form and it'll take you to the form that you can print out or basically fill out um, from your PDF or from the online browser. You can print this out. I printed mine and you can bring this over to your um, USPS facility for your uh, in-person application. So that way you can submit it, complete it, and then be done with it. If you scroll down to the other pages, um, you'll basically see all the information that you'll need to take with you or other informations regarding um, other documents. So you can pr provide your proof of identity. Um, so your driver's license, um, it cannot be a temporary or learner's permit. It has to be a current you know, driver's license and your certificate of naturalization or your citizenship. You need to bring that with you. And this is the original copy, um, not the other colored or black and white copies. And then if you scroll down a little bit more in the bottom, you'll see all the other requirements that you have to do. Um, your passport fees must be made by check, personal certified cashier's check or money order um, to the U.S. Department of State. The execution fee must be paid separately and made payable to the acceptance facility in the form that they accept. This one you can pay by card, cash, or however you need to. Uh, it was just a passport fee that you need to pay by check. And then there's other additional information here if you need to, um, how you can expedite it, any special issuance passport information, or if you're located inside the United States, um, any latest information regarding processing times or scheduling times and nearest designated acceptance facilities and all that information. If you're located outside of the United States and so on. Um, main important difference, um, if you're also getting a passport book and a card, the book is valid for international travel by air, land, and sea. So that's like if you're going to go to the Philippines and go international flights. The card is not valid for those. Um, the card is basically, basically just if you're crossing borders, like going to Canada, Mexico, Bermuda, and you know, in the vicinity of the continental U.S. So here is the rest of the form. Um, you can fill this out, like, like I said, from your browser, or you can print it out and write on it. I personally printed mine out because I didn't want my information to be digitally, like, can be stored. Then if you go back to the main site, that's actually, you can even see, like, all these steps that you need. It'll break it down to you in very specific details, step by step. And you can even have a calculator fee. You can see exactly how much your passport book and your card will cost. And if you have any other additional questions. Um, let me see here. Another important thing is that once you're done with your application and all of that, you can actually track your application status. Um, you can see here, all you just need is your last name, your date of birth, and the last four of your uh, social security number. If you applied in person or renewed by mail, you can check your passport application status online, like from this site right here. Um, and then... Like I said, when you know when I applied for my passport, it took about two weeks from my in-person appointment until it got to the passport facility. So status updates may not be available in the first two weeks after you submit your application. But after that, you can basically check everything, uh, every update that you can from the website right here. And if you have any other additional questions, let me know in the comments below. Processing time, like I said, for me personally, it took about two months. You do not have to wait that long. You do have those other two options for you. You can visit Washington, D.C. as a walk-in person, and then you can just, you know, wait for your passport as long as you have all of these documents and bring every required documents with you. I don't see any problems that, you know, you can't take your passport home with you. Or you can also expedite the process. So, yeah, there you have it. That is how you apply for your passport. Um, if you have any more questions, concerns, Anything at all regarding how to get your passport or, you know, any any questions about becoming a U.S. citizen, um, I will help you out with what I can. Let me know in the comments or, you know, if these kinds of videos are helpful to you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if this is helpful, if you need additional information. And I will provide, to my best knowledge, more information or more, more videos like this so that way I can help other people who have struggled through this or are afraid to do this for themselves.